Welcome back once more on Yankees Hot Stove. Now, for some fans, the Yankees' acquisition of Beltran might be the result of stars finally aligning. The 2013 offseason is when smoke turned into fire concerning the outfielder and the Yankees, though it has not been the first time that the parties were linked in discussions. Here's Chris Sheeran with more. The marriage between Carlos Beltran and the Yankees is one that has seemed destined for a long time. According to reports, Beltran offered himself to the Yanks on two previous occasions while he was a free agent. Both times, the Yankees declined to sign him. The first of those circumstances was prior to the 2005 season. Coming off a historic playoff run while with Houston, Beltran wound up in the Yanks' own backyard, signing with the Mets. He made five National League All-Star teams and won three gold gloves while playing center field. Since the Mets only made the playoffs with him once, some of Flushing's faithful may not give Beltran the kind of credit fitting for someone who put together that kind of resume in blue and orange. With Beltran's contract set to expire following the 2011 season, the Mets dealt him to San Francisco at the trading deadline. Beltran hit 323 in 44 games, but the defending champs missed the playoffs. As the story goes, he sought to join the Yankees again, but once more, the Yanks passed, and Beltran became a member of the Cardinals. He proved to be a perfect fit in St. Louis, playing right field and serving as a piece in one of baseball's deepest lineups. However, despite two more all-star nods, championship glory eluded him. This past year, Beltran finally made the World Series for the first time in his career, only to see his team fall to Boston, two wins shy of a crown. Now, finally, Beltran is a Yankee. Perhaps Beltran's stop in the Bronx will be the one that finally ends with a World Series victory. Well, the Yankees hope that Beltran will help get him to the postseason. But when you get there, Jack, isn't this one of the reasons why you're signing this guy? Because his numbers are just phenomenal. They are phenomenal, Bob. When you look at the Yankees and players in their history, resumes and legacies are built in the postseason. And Beltran has been a guy who's been very comfortable in the postseason. You see that 333 batting average. How about a 445 on base percentage, a 683 slugging percentage, 16 homers, 40 runs batted in in 51 games. So this is a guy who, when October, comes on the calendar he shines the Yankees need to get there but he's a guy who has no problem playing in that month and while you love what he can do in the postseason you also love what he can do in the clubhouse for 162 games well I talked earlier about Brian McCann and changing the personality of this ball club I think the same thing with Beltron he plays with a quiet confidence where every game is important there's a sense of urgency but he never seems overwhelmed by the big moment as Jack talked about in his postseason with his numbers he's a better outfielder and he's got a good throwing arm from right field than people give him credit for, but a switch hitter in the middle of the lineup. If he is healthy, again, we talk about it with all the other guys, be a very productive player.